بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ وقفا و سلام علیہ عباد نصطفا اما بعد قال اللہ تبارک و تعالی فی الکلام المجید والفرقان الحمید بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لا ینف و معلوم و لا بنون اللہ من اطلّہ بعلم السلیم فی مقام آخر قال اللہ تبارک و تعالی قد افلح مد ذکا و قد خواب مد دسا صدق اللہ مولانا العظیم و صدق رسول النبی الکریم و نہن اللہ ذال کم نشاہدین و شاکرین و الحمد للہ رب العالمین اللہ مسل علیہ سیدنا محمد و علیہ سیدنا محمد و بارک وسلم وصل علیہ رب شرحلی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحلقد تمیل سانی یف قاہ قولی ربی ضدنی علما سبحان کا لا علم لنا اللہ ما علم تنا ان کا انت العلیم الحکیم می موسٹ آر بردر اینڈ سسٹر اسلام السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فسٹ آف آل وی برنگ اوور ہارٹس اینڈ اوور مائنڈ ان دا اسٹیٹ آف شکر دا ہائیسٹ بلیسنگ اینی ہیومن بینگ اینڈ جن کین انجوائے دے آر دا بلیسنگ آف المان الاسلام ایٹ دس مومنٹ اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ بلیس آس ود اسلام اینڈ ایمان ناؤ We have to make effort and keep on making effort that our last breath should be with Imam. That's the challenge. That's why we are here. Whenever idea comes in the mind, I am Muslim, who should feel proud in the heart. I mean, how we poor are. How much I have just a broken car. Don't worry. The greatest gift where we are enjoying gift of Al-Islam. Ever, ever Jannah is waiting for us. Inshallah. Say Amin. I quoted you before Ayat-e Mubarakah. So I will go to the Ayat-e Mubarakah called Aflaham al-Zakkaha. وقد خواب مد صاحا دی تو آیات آیت نمبر نائن اینڈ آیت نمبر ٹین اسورہ اشمس گریٹ سورہ ان ول اثر ون قسم ان سورہ و تہا ٹو قسم سورہ و لیت تھری قسم اینڈ سورہ البروج دے آر فور قسم اینڈ سورہ الفجر دیر فائیو قسم وائی اللہ سمجھ ٹیک قسم قسم شوز دا امپارٹنس آف دا میسج بڑھ ان دی سورہ الشمس اللہ سمجھ ٹیک الیون قسم نار ون ٹو تھری فور فائیو الیون قسم اللہ سمجھ ٹیک You go read Surah Abbas Shams, Wa Shams wa Duhaha, Wa Al-Qamre Zha Talaha, Wa Nuhare Zha Jallaha Ila Al-Akhir. All wow, 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 they are Qasmiya wow. It shows the importance of the message. After 11 Qasm, what message to the humanity is this? Qad Aflaha Mad Zakkaha. He will be successful in this dunya, and the life hereafter who cleaned his soul Qad aflaha man zakkaha who cleaned his soul wa qad khaba man dasaha and he destroyed himself in this dunya and akhir who polluted his soul now cleaned his soul from what? who kept his soul clean from the sins and who polluted 
his soul from the sin and who kept purified heart from the sins la yanfa malum wa la banun illa man ata allah bi qalbi salim your money your dollar your aulad your property will not help you in the day of qiyama what will help you who will be successful who will bring to us qalb e salim purified heart a clean heart which is a clean heart heart has two kind qalb e saqim a qalb e salim qalb e saqim is a dirty sick heart destroyed with us with that sins dirty with the sin that the kalbe scream so we have to keep our heart kalbe salim clean heart from the sins that may be successful and over here why allah subhanahu wa taala after he loves allah subhanahu wa taala loves us Seventy times more than our mother, he want to take us to Jannah. He brought us from Jannah. But over here, we are put in the test. Imma shakirum wa imma kafura. Who obey me? <coughs> Who does not obey me? So only in the Jannah that soul will enter. which is a purified soul dirty soul cannot enter jannah soul with the sins cannot enter jannah of course we are muslim eventually in the long run we will be in the jannah but if the muslim die with the sins he will be purified in the hospital of jahannam i see you ward for a while to clean his soul clean the dirt of jan dirt of the sins in fazala mat in hadith pak anybody has iota of arrogance anybody has iota of arrogance kibar rati bar kibar hai kalb ke andar वर्ष के बर आई एम बैटर देन मी मी आई एम माई माई हु आयोटा ऑफ एरो कैंस द हार्ट कैन नॉट समेल द फ्रेगरेंस ऑफ द पैराडाइज जिसके कल्प के अंदर जरा बार भी किब्र होगा कि मैं बड़ा हूं मेरी बात बड़ी है मेरी बात मानी जाए मैं ही ठीक हूं <coughs> जब तक ये किबर जलाया नहीं जाएगा आटे दिस किबर इज नॉट बर्न टप इन द जहन्नम दैट मुस्लिम कैन नॉट एंटर इन द जन्ना दैट वाई अल्लाह स्वर्ण मेक एलेवन कसम दो शर्व वी बिलीव ही वॉन्ट टू टेक अस टू जन्ना directly brothers and sister we cannot afford jahannam we cannot afford even go to jannah via jahannam i can afford one second even we cannot afford go to jannah via jannah jahannam i cannot that only possible if we keep our soul free from the sins sins are two kind visible and not visible zahri sin or batni sin visible sin somebody abuse somebody 
physically stealing, backbiting with a tongue. These are visible, horrible sin. But some sins are invisible. That we don't pay attention. That's the problem. Those sins are more problem. They were invisible sin. Bathini sin. What are those? Sin of arrogance. Kibar. Grudge in the heart. Against somebody. Self-praising. Ego. Stinginess. Jealousy is a very bad sin. Do you know what happened? <clears throat> the first sin which was committed in the heaven was the sin of arrogance. Who did it? Shaitan. The first sin, Pella Guna Jo Asamano Me Hua, Wo Kibar Ka Guna Tha. When he was commanded do sajida. <coughs> so he said, no. He said, Ana khairum minhu. I am better than him. Me is a problem. I am better than him. It was a sin of arrogance. But let's check ourselves. Do we sometimes think I am better than other? Think for a while. But this is very common. Every husband <coughs> is very common. Most of the husband, me too, uh, think I am better than the wife. Yes. Even she is Rabia Basriya. <coughs> Even she is Hafiza, Rabia Basriya. I say, I am man, huh? You know that? I am man. <clears throat> what you are in the eyes of Allah SWT? Below zero. Inna akramakum in the Allah taqakum. In the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is the best who has more taqwa. Who fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who keep himself away from the sins. That's called muttaqi. So that is a challenge for us. Listen, we are made of two things, body and soul. Body has diseases like COVID, cholera, fever, cancer, like this. When we get sick, we feel Visible, we check the temperature, we go to the hospital, go to the doctor. <clears throat> now, the soul has also diseases. Body has physical diseases, <coughs> visible. Our soul has diseases also. Arrogance, jealousy, stinginess. Grudge, enmity, these are diseases of the soul which are not visible. We are all physical doctors. I have primary doctor. When I get sick, I go to my primary doctor. What about my spiritual diseases. What about my spiritual diseases? Did I ever check it? Did I ever check my spiritual diseases? Am I arrogant or not? Am I jealous of or not? I have a grudge against somebody or not? Which are very dangerous diseases. Do we know that? 
if we have physical diseases and we go to the doctor he gave the medicine okay but he gave the medicine some time cancer don't finish and body die body die physical diseases die no problem not a big deal finish khalas on the other hand if we have spiritual disease like arrogance we should deal with the root at the time of death root don't die root don't die a root take that disease with it you tell me now which are more dangerous diseases physical or spiritual jismani marze zyada khatarnak hain ya ruhani marze zyada khatarnak hain kyunki jismani marze to khatam ho jati hai marne par lekin ruhani marze khatam nahi hoti marne par they go to therefore when i have spiritual disease of arrogance it will go with me it's more dangerous and this disease will take me for a while in jahannam if i die with islam which we cannot afford it means we have to be careful about more our spiritual diseases and we never think about that do we have spiritual doctor how many sitting over here have spiritual doctor rohani doctor rohani sheikh to who will tell him you have this disease understand if i say somebody behavior somebody's behavior brother you have uh, arrogance you have disease of arrogance he said no i don't have it this is a sign of disease you have it so my purpose is this qad aflaha man zakkaha who will purify his soul from these spiritual diseases he may be successful <coughs> ना थी अपनी बुराइयों पे जब नजर ढूंढते रहे औरों के ऐबो हुनर ना थी अपनी बुराइयों पे नजर ढूंढते रहे औरों के ऐबो हुनर जब पड़ी अपनी बुराइयों पे नजर तो जहां में कोई बुरा ना रहा इट इज इजी टू चेक ऑन अदर पीपल ही इज दिस ही इज दिस ही इज दिस ही इज दिस वट बी when we put one finger to other four finger tangle to you who you are the message today i am giving to me and to you we have to keep our soul free from the sins external sins and especially from internal sins there's very few people think about that for that we need a spiritual doctor spiritual sheikh to whom you trust who is expert in that area how sahaba came became sahaba in the company of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam all our scholar a imma they have their spiritual sheikh to check keep their inner soul check up imam abu halifa rahimullah he used to go to imam jafar sadiq rahmatullah alai to keep his soul checked up i do annual check up i advise you also 
we should have annual physical checkup. In the same way, we should have also annual spiritual checkup. <coughs> and, and Ramadan is the best time. <coughs> Imam Shafi Rahimullah, he used to serve, go to keep his soul checkup. Imam Muhammad Shabani Rahimullah. Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal, great Sheikh Imam, he has connection. His Sheikh was Bashar Hafi Rahimullah. Hazam Jaddadeh Millet Mullah Ashraf Thalmi Rahimullah. He used to go Haji Imradullah Shah Bhaji Bakki Rahmatullah. Mullah Qasim Nanuti Rahmatullah. Haji Imradullah Shah Sahib Bhaji Bakki Rahmatullah. All our elders, all big ulma, they have their mashayikh to check their spiritual checkup. Therefore, message today I am giving today a khutbah <coughs> that we should check our spiritual diseases. How to do it? Go home today, tonight or tomorrow. Sit down. Take a notebook. Ask your sweetheart, your wife, if you don't have wife, ask your friend, ask your dad. What bad thing, bad behavior, you look at me. <coughs> Write down. First, first you check as yourself, what bad habit you have, especially inner bad habit. What is Zahari bad habit? What Bathali bad habit? Make the list. Then your wife can help you. Your friend can help you. Let your wife make also, help your wife also. Now all our bad habits, good habits are all our good habits, good behavior, we should do to Rakat Nafal Shukar. Ya Allah, thank you very much. You helped me to make five times a lot. I am a good person. I am nice to my wife. Nice to my employee. Thank you very much. You gave me good health to me also. Subhanallah. Then, on all other bad habits, bad diseases what we have, if I am arrogant, I am jealous, Especially if we are je jealous and has grudge against our relatives. Bil khusus ham apne shadaron ke khilaf dil mein grudge rakhte hain. You know grudge? What is the grudge? Bhugz. Grudge is such a disease. A person has bhugz in the heart. Grudge in the heart. Let me tell you frankly. In the Ramadan, the person doing etikaf is a Laila Tul Qadr, but a person has a grudge, has a no dua will be accepted. Bugs wale bande ki Laila Tul Qadr ki raat bhi koi dua kabool nahi hoti. Lebe. If we are arrogant, I think better than my employee. Who you are? Who gave you the status? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I am arrogant, we should clean the junk as soon as possible. Be humble. Give salam first. 
sometimes I cover uh, the uh, talk about in this khutbah about the kibar, about the arrogance. What is arrogance? What are the signs of arrogance? How to treat the arrogance? I cover these diseases. But uh, now I tell you, please, go home today, make the list with the help of your sweetheart and start taking away all these spiritual diseases one by one. And there are books also. Books can help you. Kimi Asadat, Mizakal Arfin is the best book. Behisti Zever is the best book. Ahyai Alum is the one the best book. Understand? In these books, if you go, these books will tell you what the disease, what the diagnose, what the symptom, and how to take care. If you have some problem, you can handle it, you can find it, feel free to call me. You know my number, they are not a problem. As Sheikh, Sheikh, Bhaiya Bhai sitting over here, Ahmad Bhai sitting over here, the manager of the Majahid, they, they have my number. They call me. Everything remains confidential. I'll help you, inshallah ta'ala. So, let's make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, free, from, free us from all spiritual diseases. Amen. At the time of death, I should not have any spiritual disease. Amen. No arrogance, no jealousy, no grudge. Instead of that, I should have Ya Allah, your love. Amen. Your love. Instead of deed, we should have love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Love of the masjid. Love of the Islam. Love of the good amal. Love of the family. Love of the wife and children. Well, love of the relative. And love of all Muslims at all. We should decorate our heart with the love. And clean our heart from the hatred. And we should think everybody is better than me. As the Thani Rahmatullah used to say, I consider every Muslim is better than me. And even every Kafir, I think he is better than me. Why? Why? Maybe, maybe tomorrow he become Muslim. And I have no guarantee of my Islam. So think everybody better than me. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all the beautiful, beautiful characters of Al Islam and follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 24 hours in life. Follow the Sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 24 hours in our life. Wa akhir damana and alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Jazakallah khair. Shukran kaseera. Inshallah. Every month